welcome to the ULI podcast. Happy pre Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm Brian. After Thanksgiving, I'm going to get this. But this is Chris. More. It's your favorite podcast, sir. And like any other time, we back ready to kick that shit, ready to have a good time in Brian House, you know, putting oh, yeah. it down in, in the new location. My house. And like any other time, you know, we all got our topics ready to have a good time. Uh, I think I was shot, man. I was late. I think I was shot. Uh, I was beyond late, bro. I think you just want to take a shot. Bro. I ain't gonna stop you. I ain't gonna stop you. I was beyond late, bro. But yeah, like, on, man. We have shot glasses. We have Wait, glasses. I had to take a shot for missing a couple episodes. So yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> only. Yeah, he won't end on it too, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a whole ass cup. I, I, don't know how, I don't know how to measure this, but... Uh, Your ancestors will tell you when to stop. I think we might have one. Don't like listen to German. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm listening to German. I'm listening to German. Okay, outside. Let's, uh... I forgot what we was talking about. What were we talking about? I don't know, man. We, we, oh, we, the punishment. Oh, the punishment. Any other time. We got the shots. We got the uh, $10 no. cash app. And then the dreaded push-ups. Yeah. Well, I dread it. Exactly. <laughs> 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 might be the least favorite. Least popular. Ah. I just do exercise and choice. I'd rather pay that takes away Jumping jacks. That takes away from it. Yeah, jumping yeah, jacks. Yeah, 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 jumping jacks. I'll give you $5. I don't want to be 20 So Next topic. Uh, over, what, the weekend? I guess the week-ish. Mm-hmm. Whatever uh, HBO Max put out. The 30... <laughs> the 30 year reunion. And that's your thin's face. Yeah, that, that looked uh, non pleasant. But uh, the 30 year reunion of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. They yes. all came back together on the set, uh, the living room of the second house, not the first house, you know. Yeah. The big mansion. Uh, you know, except for uh, Air Me Be now. Wasn't it just four nights? Yeah, I don't know how many nights. I know one of them was up for the Airbnb. I remember they put it out there, but I think it was yeah. just like a novelty thing for. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can still do it. I sent you that and you knew about it. I was like, oh, they're making a picture. I seen it on. I seen it on. Like, oh, yeah, that's just a clip. Wait, what? I think we're talking about something else. Uh, what is this? What? You're talking about First Friends, right? The reunion. The reunion. Oh, they the reunion. The reunion. Yeah, they all came back and they just talked over oh, like, what it was like being on the show oh, and, and, and stuff. Relive some of the moments you know. and stuff. I just seen the James Avery low. That was, that was emotional. That was yeah. very that was I kind of mouth was at work, man. I was like, man, I came in. It makes me get out of that, man. <laughs> shit. Man, I, mean, I, I was full cool ass crying, man. Yeah, yeah. Like tears, nigga. Was, uh, I felt like uh, this nigga was a big part no of daddy. my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. every so, young bro. black man that watched Fresh Prince of Bel-Air got some kind of life lesson from mm-hmm. the Uncle Phil monologue or mm-hmm. uh, uh, conversation. Just relating to that hard ass type of parent in their life. Like just by everybody's yeah. experience mm-hmm. has experienced that type of or a super relatable like, character. Right. right. Yeah, for sure. But I legit cried, nigga. Like, and then I was mad because I was, I had ate hella weed butter before I watched it. No, so no. I, was, like, <laughs> I really love it. So when I'm high like that, it's hard to like, keep everything in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna come out. I was mad. Yeah, so I was mad because then I had me crying. Yeah, I got it under control. Then control. they did the, uh, the segment where he was, uh, where he did the interview or, or met up with Janet. When Will met up with Janet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was and the big juice. That part was, of it, right? nigga, that was the most of two. I was crying on that part. It was, it was awkward. Nigga, <laughs> it, it was awkward at first. And then when I saw the actual healing taking place <clears throat> and, and seeing them break that ground to get to some, like, I imagine there was a lot of things I put in there. Understand what was going on back then. I seen a little snippets of it. Okay, I see didn't you know express. What? I seen a James Avery though. I need some questions. I can't just have a hold of the conversation. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm basically just saying I need some clips. Like, now, nah, I'm like, what's going on? I need some context. Would you, would you, yeah, it's on oh, YouTube. Probably on YouTube. Too. On my phone. Didn't know anybody else in the server or more even looking at me like, what's he doing? <clears throat> Thank you. I didn't want to ask for some reason. But yeah, I, if I, if I can see, tell. You get to the to the understanding of the misunderstandings that took place back then. To where even Will seemed apologetic of how he had, he didn't deny any fucking <clears throat> things that he did to her, and she yeah. didn't deny being, you know, whatever happened on her end. But what they both admitted to was that they did not, Will didn't understand what she was really dealing with at the time, and she understood that she also did not share with them personally what she was going through, which made that friction on the on the thing. Mm-hmm. It was a misunderstanding, and you can see them. 
come to understand that. And to me, that shit was so moving, bro. It was so moving to me. Like, tears were just coming down because for 27 years, they hadn't spoke to each other at all. You played his auntie slash mother figure for seasons, three yeah. seasons up, up until that point. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. To nothing. Mm-hmm. Bro, so to see that and then to see her come on set and be embraced by the rest of the cast. And me it was, and her, it was more than the just, other one. It was oh, more man. than just nothing. They got rid of her on the show. Yeah, like, point blank. But it was a whole it was nasty, different though. person. Yeah. It was nasty, yeah, the way they did it. Mm-hmm. Like the the whole different shades. No. In the newspapers, it was bad. Like mm-hmm. they were saying some really bad things. So the shit was to see all of that come full <clears> circle, <throat> nigga, and see both Aunt Viv on there. Aunt yeah, 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 yeah. That shit was cool. Now is. No, is, is, is Fresh Prince top three far as black shows ever come out? Oh, fuck yeah. Top three? Easy. Yeah. Easy for me. Mm-hmm. That is not it, bro. Easy for me. Even if it's not because it's the greatest black show, mm-hmm. I watched it the yeah, most. Yeah, the most out of any of the black shows. HBO. Yeah. You know, Will Smith, or uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Fresh Prince. Mm-hmm. Martin, I watched Martin. those the most consistently. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. they would be my top just out of Martin five, Will five, uh five, Fresh Prince and what's the, what's the third? I like Living Single, man. I love Living Single. I'm rewatching Living Single. Now. Really. I love right Living Single, now. man. I Living love single. that shit. I love Living Single. Too. Top three, I would not put it in. What, Living Single. I, 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 live single in my I top did watch three, a lot of Fresh Prince, but yeah. Fresh Prince is not So what's your top three? I, uh, no, top three what? Black sitcoms? Martin in there. What counts? Uh, what bunch I, of black I watched, shows? I watched, uh, I watched, I watched a lot of Jamie Foxx. You know, Jamie Foxx, uh, yeah, damn it, that is. We'll make my two. Jamie Foxx. Jamie. Jamie. Uh, you know what? The Wayans Brothers. Proud Family. I, I was tossing the. the uh, <laughs> is it a Proud Family? Black, so, yeah. <laughs> it is. It is, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Proud Family. I put it in the cartoon. That's category. already might have been one of the most highest it. grossing sitcoms. Call me. Not on my. Hold on, man. Call me out. You a goddamn lie for that motherfucker right there. But that's all right. What you betting on? He told the most I'm gross. A shot. a shot. One of the highest gross black sitcoms. Well, we can do a shot too, man, because, man, hell no. Highest no? grossing black sitcoms. That's already? Hell no. Um, nah, hell no. I'm just going, I'm just throwing, I'm so going to lie to him right here. It was, but it ain't no, it ain't the most gross. The highest grossing highest black gross. sitcoms. Wait, you know what? I do like San Francisco too. I can watch that motherfucker all day. Is it highest grossing though? No. Nah, no, not Samson, not the highest grossing. I'm not watching Samson. The world I can watch Samson like all day, bro. I'm not watching Samson. I could, I could watch a. Uh, say Sanford. I like Jane Fox show. Go hard too. Watching the death of me. I, mm, yeah, I could. I, I can do that. Man, you got an old soul, bro. I can do I that. It's my pops, man. They be, they be doing that. Good, good times. Hey, man. Good times. Good times. Good times. Time. Yeah, yeah. Two two seven. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Watch all this shit. That's a trap. He said it's hot garbage. He said it's hot garbage. What was I supposed to be doing? Oh, that's all right. Highest gross, highest uh, gross scene. He said, <laughs> black sitcom. I'm just looking for that's all right, man. And whatever y'all find, you know. <laughs> you know what? I do love everybody hates Chris, too. That shit is funny. Everybody hates Chris. Is it's funny. That, that, bro, that, that's my dad right there. Ooh, Cheap. Ooh. Cheap like a motherfucker, man. What's the highest gross? Uh, they're not showing it by gross, but they do rank them. But that's where what they rank. They got what's rank happening up right there. Family Matters is number I two. I can stand Sister Family Sister Matters, bro. It's number three. The Steve Harvey Show is number Sister four. Sister. Steve Harvey was all right. Keenan and Kale is number five. Keenan and Kale's good. Keenan's Smart right. Guy is number Smart. six. Great. Smart that's right. so Raven is number seven, and the Proud Family is under that. Number eight. Proud Family is in that oh, category, man. man. Yeah, I think I mean, it's But that's the best black sitcom. Yeah, what's that ranked as, though? That's the best black sitcoms of like all one, time. Like one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. I, I think that's a different topic than what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't find. I don't. It was a top gross. Top gross. No, no, t- that's not, not what that. That's not what yeah. that list was. It's got to be top gross. <laughs> that's right. Oh, it was man. not top gross. That, that might be hard to find. I think that might be hard to find. As you know what the worst the amount of time it would be. The worst um, show I have seen, bro. Uh, living, 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 assistant. What living is a Tyler Perry production, bro? Assistant living, bro. That shit is so trash. Are you serious? you oh, like that shit? It. I haven't seen it, yet. bro. That that I acting is so it. horrible, bro. <laughs> it is so bad. It's like this is great. They, they got this shit on TV, bro. It's, yes, it's bro. That's probably that the worst show I have ever seen, bro. I thought it was going to be funny as fuck, bro. No, wow. Hell no. Because I like. 
beat the Browns. And I beat the Browns is okay. House of, House of Pain is okay. I don't think TV like show is gross. But most, right, popular, ratings, but most popular. I think it's ratings. ratings. So Best ratings. I mean, most most, most popular. Money doesn't correspond with that. Mm, unless you're buying like T-shirts. If it ain't about the money. But the, I mean, you, TV shows sell commercial point, slots. At this point, it was there's like. Well, we all know it's not the most gross. Mm. Let me see. Let's see. How put like most popular. Rated. It's not gonna be on the rated ones. I can tell you that. So, so I, that's the. But I can't mind. change my. Look, what I can't change it from gross, gross to make, popular. One yeah, of the most popular. Doesn't, doesn't but I didn't put a number on it, though. That doesn't work no? with TV. The TV show? Yeah, it's not a movie. Uh, okay. What does it? I'm uh, sitting over here. I don't know, man. Anyway, what, how did this, uh, how get... did this pan out? Do it, does it look like I... Uh, nigga, I don't think that's a Raven. Is that's Raven not up there, bro. Yeah, that was a bold clip to jump off. That's <laughs> <was a bold, laughs> <laughs> yeah. on the list. It's top eight. Yeah. Okay. But you said most gross. I don't, you, we say yeah. most gross. I'm thinking a long way from gross. Yeah, I'm thinking you top. You think what's happening made more money? The Raiders was ranked number eight at one point this season. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't think. I think I think you lost that. I think you lost that, bro. Ah, uh, that this is terrible. I think <laughs> I think you lost that one. Dang, this one. What? Okay. This one's on what's Ranker. Ranker has on the ratings side? Bro, I think smart guy was better than that. Ranking I'll this take a shot Ranker because, has Martin because I would have put it higher up than eight top eight. Martin has smart guys out there. Fresh Prince yeah, what are you listening to? A different world at number three. This is on Ranker where they rank the uh, TV shows. Black TV, TV shows. shows. A different world is number three. Sun world. and Sun is number four. San number San five man. is Living Single. We are living. Six is Jefferson. Seven is Family Matters. What about uh? Eight is good the time. Living Color. Nine is my wife. I used to like my wife. I messed with Living Color is in the sitcom. I can't stand that shit. That might be four five for me. You didn't like it? I don't like Brandon Mac. I don't like, like, like it, bro. Show. I like the Brandon Mac show. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon Mac show was cool. It was cool. So we just don't count in Living Color as a sitcom. That's just that's. Uh, uh well. No, you have a bad chart. Uh, it's just I want to sketch comedy. Yeah, it was good. It's sketch comedy, but it's on here. It's not a sitcom. You know it's not, man. You stay up. Like I'm just reading the list. list. <laughs> I didn't read the fucking list. Okay, living color is not a fucking sitcom. Uh, oh my god! Read by it like you, you just know mad because I still ain't got to that. So Raven on no. number eighteen. Yeah, that's a Raven ain't on there. And the Proud Family's on there. Okay, I'm Moesha's on there. Girl Moesha. Friends. Okay. Girlfriends. Is this a shot? No. That's, that's yeah, that's a shot for sure. Okay. All right, we'll let it ride. Different shows. The Different Parkers. shows. The, park, the Parkers was cool. I like the Parkers. The smart guy. I like Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Overrated. Overrated. Curry. Might be one of my least favorite shows. Overrated. Overrated. Thank you. Overrated. I thought it was. I, used, uh, to, I, tried I used to, to go back and watch it. was so it. great, but I saw an episode and I was like, it was garbage. Then hold on. I Yo. thought it was. Oh, look. That's already right, number 32. 32. Out of but, uh, all of that. One on one is number 30. I watched one that one. on Netflix. Couple you know, they took off the Chappelle show off the Netflix. You can see it all by your. Yeah, you requested it. That was yeah. one of our subjects. Can yeah. The Chappelle show is off of Netflix. <laughs> so now isolate yourself. There's nobody around. It was a cool, it was a cool thing for me. I have no idea. It's one on one. You know who does that? Kyle Pratt, yeah. She was cool. Tone A. Proud family. You a liar. Uh oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, wait, wait. What'd you say? You a liar. Uh oh. A legit you a liar? Call him out. Legit. Call him out. Call him out. Ten dollars on it. Tony and, and, and Flex yeah. Washington's <laughs> wife, some Shanice or Shonda or something like that. Shanice, he was married to Shanice. Yes, yeah. So was it you a lie? That's who sung the one on one theme song. No, oh, okay. So, oh. Are you serious? You gonna look it up? So I gotta look it up. Oh, I'm just not, $9 oh, Okay, okay. I'll I put a shot on it. We can take okay. it down. Okay. I'm confident either way that you're going to be doing whatever it is. Really? <laughs> I accept. I accept. I mean, I shit, you called it out. <laughs> you I didn't call never, it, so it should have been your terms anyway. I, sh- I just never knew. I never knew that for sure. It didn't yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I agree to the shot. I stay in my lane, man. If I don't know shit, I ain't gonna bounce speak on it. <laughs> nah, I ain't speak on it. That just seems like something I would have known. Though. All right, so uh, opening thing, living one on one, for one performed by Shanice and Tony. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, Tony. That's TFU. I can't think of that Tone one track. That, Are you serious? That I remember. Is it Tony X? Not Tony. No, it's Tony. Okay. <laughs> like, nah, I gotta see him singing it. You gotta see him. <laughs> <laughs> it better be on YouTube. He needs to prove that exists. 
Yeah, it's it's really, it, it should, every, you two got everything, man. One, one of the best theme songs, man. You well, it makes sense then. One of the best. Uh, the girlfriends is good too. I think that's Andy Stone. No, I, I can hear her voice. It. I can, I can hear that. Girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was good. That was my good. son, my son sings it. Family Matters. I couldn't stand Man, that stupid guy. ass show. I, I fucking like Family Matters. They I think hate that shit. Too. Is that the same dude that did the? Uh, Whatever happened to predict the game? Is that the same guy? Yep. Newsman, <laughs> paper boy. But that, <laughs> that's, that's a, it. That's a everywhere you lie. Oh, wait, wrong yeah. Tom. Yeah, that's <laughs> a, that, was, <laughs> that was a whole. Uh, that was everywhere uh, you go. Is that the same guy though? That same step by step, day by day. And is that the same guy from all the Toy Story right? movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all merging all these theme songs. No, I don't know if uh, step by step. I don't know if, uh, <laughs> he said that's a wrong one. Man. Step by step was a good one. I didn't even like that show. Every time it came on, I like, only watched the theme, the theme song. song would trick you, but then I you turned like, it off. You watched time. it for like half an episode. You telling me like one time step by step came on and you didn't let it run for two I minutes. did for like not twenty minutes, about <laughs> ten. I'd rather watch Saved by the Bell. Oh, I hate to say about it. I, I, I like didn't like it either. I like to say about it. But I'd rather watch that than Step by Step. I was okay with Step by Step. A little bit. A little bit. Not that Just much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's that uh, Boy Meets World uh, Wonder Years vein. Boy Meets World with uh, Topanga. Wonder Years and Boy, Boy Topanga could have got it back in the day. Uh, you know what? Man, Topanga can still get it, nigga. Yeah. Topanga, okay. boy. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. still bad. And I, honestly, it was uh, like the, the, when uh, Corey comes back from uh, like junior high and they in high school. And like Japan, like full growing. He was like, damn! <laughs> damn, she got back. <laughs> damn, she got back. Damn, damn it. Come on, I'm trying to stay showing you. Check, check, check it out. Check, uh, check, 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 check it out. Check, check, check it out. What's he looking for? Living Sick was gold. It was cool. Living Sick was gold, too. But you going to need that shot, though. Yeah, yeah but you're going to need that. Queen Latifah sung that one, right? Yeah, 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 Queen. <laughs> she did? She sang something. The Queen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Living Sick? You, you just beat it? In the 90s, kind of wild. And yeah, who you think that is? I don't know if she was or was not. Hold on now. So we about to I wasn't going to I was about to say she was definitely not. I think she can sing though. Oh, she can sing. Anyone can sing. She can hold that note. Anyone. Anyone can sing. She can say but it, it, if you're good or not, like Ty Dolla Sign, that nigga can't. Anyone can't. He's, he's raspy. Anyone. Raspy. Okay, anyone like Chris said, Chris said he can sing Ty Dolla Sign. Hit every note. Hit the Ty Dolla Sign notes, note for note. <laughs> now, if anyone can sing well, is the question. That's right? that. Yeah, there you go. I guess anyone can. Make anyone. Anyone can sing. You right. Nigga, but can you make a joke yeah. 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 Mambo from Happy Feet trying yeah. to sing? Come on now. He couldn't do it. That was Take the shot for continuity, but that sounded like a rap. I did not know that that was Tony. And I'm just drinking just because. Well, not yet. No, like right now. Check, check, check it out. Not yet, not yet.
So, um, I came across a video that uh, probably one of the most incorrigible people that I know, uh, especially for us, for black folks. Spell that. <laughs> Use that in the sentence. <laughs> you a goddamn lion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I spelled that right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> You'll lie. She did a video that she uh she was actually complaining about who was that? Some celebrity. Oh, I forgot his name. Uh, uh, the dude on he, Vogue, right? That's another video. Dude on Vogue. He had a Henry dude. Henry something. Something. Anyway, something. His name like that. Don't. He was in the dress. Harry. No. He was Harry, Styles. <laughs> he was oh, Harry Styles. Oh, we're talking about the Candace Owens. Harry Styles. I was completely his somewhere name. else. He uh, but anyway, he was on the cover of Vogue. He had on a dress and a blazer, and she pretty much took the that chance to rip on so like men period saying like uh it's the left don't like masculinity and they hate no, they anything don't. masculine and doing this it's right normal here. and right. trying to make this I, did, uh, mm. I didn't like where <clears throat> this song was coming from but i'm gonna i'm gonna say this i understood what she was saying but the, that's the problem with candace owens in my view She's like Kanye. Most of the time, she's, where of, she's completely she, full of shit. She can spout some <clears throat> good points, but then they're enshrouded in this like yeah, bullshit, like a whole a, bunch of fuckery that makes yeah, it not digestible. No, I'm not I don't want to hear what she has to most say. Most of the time, when I hear her shit. in any context, I hear her. I hear her. You can't really stomach what she's saying. Uh, you <laughs> know what? With that one, I could. Like I could just see where she was coming from. I really didn't agree at so all. So what was she saying? What was her her point thing stance. is, her, her point is she was saying, that well, she knows men that. in general, like masculinity is. She's saying she don't want to be around, much. basically don't want to be around a man who can wear a dress. Who wear, who wear a okay. dress. Okay. You know? And, or, and um, pretty much saying like those type of men. And she was saying some shit like that. We, we don't, don't call right. y'all for the drive yeah. type of deal. Like. No, oh, oh, okay. Oh, like okay. calling them sissy. She said men be saying, nigga, I wear. Bro, you know what? Man type of deal. <clears> Which I get that. I, and, and to. Brian's point, she, I can see where she's I can coming. See from. where she come from. That'll make it right. The, yeah. Not only does it not make it right, I think she's doing a creating a false narrative where it seems like that's the majority of men out there. Like niggas is just all wearing dresses and yeah. shit now. Most of us ain't with that shit. Most that's, of us won't that's do. That's not what she said though. She was yeah. just saying like Hollywood influence. I think that's that what that's that what's a bigger point. Hollywood is influencing yeah, all of def- us to that, wear dress she, she, that's she, true. She was yeah. specifically yeah. condemning she those the people. She wasn't talking about. She. I don't think she even even implied that it was having an effect on everybody else. No, she really saying. was. She no, was, that that was her whole was saying point. That they were using their platform to try to do that, though. No, that was her whole point. Was that they're persuading all these young men to think that wearing a dress is this. And that women could be men and all this stuff. She was li- literally ranting in a way. But the, like I said, the problem is, nigga, <laughs> when she says the shit that she says, it doesn't, the, the way she delivers and where it comes from, it's the same way with any, with any uh, conservative, you know, um, they call them grifters or whatever, but like with She's any conservative grifter, grifter um, they, they just don't care what they say as long as they're good at spinning it. Yeah, no it. filter. Yeah, as long <clears> as they're good at spinning it so that mm-hmm. people could just buy it a little bit. Like, but even then, that goes that kind of feeds into the whole rap music creates violence in the mm-hmm. hood conversation. It's the same idea, and, yeah. and to me, like that's bullshit. That's, we're a fucking violent country, and everything from the time we're born to yeah. the time that we're adults, everything is violent. What about the, is violent. the violence in the suburbs? Is that all, all of that shit? That? Yeah, all of no. that shit. But that, but it creates that narrative, which to me is problematic. Because, like I said, as many of us watching, how many niggas is really trying to run out dressed like Young Thug? Even mm-hmm. though we know a few that do, do you. But for me, my problem with Candace, don't make it seem like this is the common man now. Like, yeah. oh, my God, All bring men, were men back. Or the thing yeah. literally says <laughs> bring back men. Like, we're disappearing or something. Or is, like is she single? The majority. No, she's married to a okay, white Okay, but I say this bitch, she ain't got a man. That's why she's no, mad. She's married to a white dude, too. No, see, that's your problem. But... Nigga, I, I, and, and to me, I hate that because it's you. You sound like you're attacking us, like black folks specifically, because mm-hmm. that's all she does. Yep. And and all of her rantings and sayings, she always downs and belittles black folks to make her point, whatever that point could be. Mm-hmm. Do to do that, I don't want to hear shit you have to say. And to and to be honest, mm-hmm. 
I, if I was her, I'd be worried about coming for niggas in dresses because I think some of them same niggas don't mind putting their hands on. Man, you seen you seen <laughs> niggas? You seen you seen gay niggas fight? Well, get, get a, oh, boy, come on, man. That nigga's got hands, bro. Like, I mean, I like so come on, yeah. yeah at the end of the day, he is still a dude. Yeah. But she's yeah, in a sense yeah. saying that you're not. You put on the dress, you, you're not a man. And I don't think that's necessarily. No, no. You can listen to Candace Owen speak for any length of time, and then you kind of be like, oh, well, all right, I'll see what's going on here. Mm. I don't I, take much. I challenge her. Can I, we look I, at her, her bigger point of uh, Hollywood? Y'all think Hollywood is weird? Hollywood is weird. I think that she had. A, yeah. I think that her point Hollywood that is definitely weird. They're, they're, I agree with it. They yeah. do. I think like, they they push some weird ass yeah, narratives. They, it's a weird ass society. That, if you got to do this to get the, it on, they're yeah. putting that on the Harvey Weinstein was a real head. thing. Okay, but check this out. That same weirdness runs for all these CEOs of top yeah, same shit. Fortune five hundred companies too. You gotta do weird yeah. shit to get to up get, top, to get up there. Yeah, you do. yeah I don't think that takes away. I don't think that takes away from the point oh, of Hollywood being weird. Yeah, I'm gonna no, say, no, but it's not an exclusive. Then say what? This is not. But but we give a it's lot of same kind of to Hollywood. thing going on though. That's true for what it can produce then, for us. But then we're <clears> generalizing too. Hollywood is an area that's conducive for weirdness, but we can't just automatically assume everybody that's in Hollywood is weird. It's fucking weird. Yeah. or with certain shit. Mm-hmm. Every dude in Hollywood is not down to put on a dress. Can you assume that in order to get on, like the big push, you know what I'm talking about, to get on with Hollywood, don't you don't know. have to go there. Who spoke on no. that on uh, you, don't, you don't think you have to. You don't think The Rock I had think, to go there. I think Dave Chappelle spoke. is the perfect example. Dave Chappelle is not in Hollywood. He's what definitely you, not. He is not in Hollywood. He's not in Hollywood. He's got start in Hollywood. What do you mean? And, and, and he, he left, grew, and he and left he, for those he reasons, grew, though. He grew without having to conform he, to any of those things. But so they were still presented in, in his career. Day. He was presented. He was presented. Well, that's yeah. why I said we can't generalize no, because, because just because it's there, I, mean, <laughs> you know, do it. I don't think it's general. That's what's being Tupac said. didn't do it. He didn't conform to certain <laughs> things. Tupac is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring that question up again. Uh, Brian said he had something to say. Go ahead, Brian. What do you want to say? It's fucking fair. I hate you. So, are you saying that Dave Chappelle left because he didn't want to suck dicks? I think the le- he left because there was a lot of pressures. Mm, to suck dicks. I'm not saying I ended up with sucking dicks. <laughs> so I think at some point, somebody probably was like, hey, Dave Spill, you got to suck my dick. I, I'm, I'm leaning 80. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Uh, nah, Definitely had to do some weird like shit to get. No, you can suck my dick. I'm walking out, bitch. Right? Agreed. Right? Like, yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Had to flee the whole country, though. Let's be real. Like, that's real shit. Mm hmm. Dang, who's spoken? So on breakfast, bro. No step back to police. Don't have to, you, I don't think just because you're part of Hollywood automatically makes you a weird person. I think there are a lot of people in But Hollywood I mean, Mike Epps had, Mike Epps, uh interview at a breakfast club. He had the same conversation about getting in to Gate, good. Gatekeepers. Gatekeepers, yeah. He had the same on breakfast club. That's a good interview. For, uh, go check it out. On the same conversation about getting your prior, you up way up here, or then rather being right here or whatever. So he, he, he had the same, same outlook. On the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole thing. I think Basically. that's why people are creating their own lanes now. You see a lot of people making podcasts, making YouTube channels, mm-hmm. uh, making uh, Patreon pages where they can control their own content and still get it to the people. Mm-hmm. The following that they have on oh, what, how they want to do instead it, instead of having to go to an NBC to a, yeah. uh, to a, you know whatever these big ass studios is to try to get in through that mm-hmm. gate to reach their followers, mm-hmm. they just have a platform that they make now. And mm-hmm. I'm and, and I'm not disagreeing with any of the concept to that either. I don't think that's why Dave is a special case because it's stand up. That's his only, shit. He can create that. Only thing and sell it to Netflix. Of, like I said, is generalizing everybody in Hollywood because it's an industry that's conducive for weirdness. It is. But we can't automatically say that everybody that's involved in Hollywood is mm-hmm. weird. Yeah. Or do some weird shit. Mm-hmm. It's, it's absolutes we are doing. Okay, yeah, we can't say that 100% of people are doing something. Yeah, like both but of, we can both say definitely it's some weird shit weird. that you probably got to compromise to get on, on. Mm-hmm. Then that goes you get your big bank, you get your money, get your... Fix, and then does that just become part of the job? I guess we got to ask actors and <laughs> stuff for that one. What was this topic? I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Oh, Candace Owens. Candace Owens. Yeah. We still, we still on, we still on task. We still on topic. Mm-hmm. We still on topic. Mm-hmm. Wait, well, let's go back to Candace Owens. And okay, I think that we can all say <clears> that <throat> nobody was fooled by like what she was talking about. Even though you can maybe relate a little bit to some of the stuff she was saying, you would say, okay, you're saying all this stuff, but you're putting it in the wrong context. You speaking, you speaking in absolutes. That and I think that's the issue, right? With the, even the yeah, it's, yeah, the, it's not an absolute. Yeah, most of the time, 
um, you know, relationships don't, don't work out. Hard. Like, ro- relationships don't work out work out that way, even in the Vegas mm-hmm. way. Like, you can't just <laughs> sit here and say, like, I'm going to be the most manly man. Yeah, right, right. You know, like, that's really... I'm going to be Hercules. Yeah. Hercules, Hercules. That's, that's unrealistic. But I just, I can't, and, I can't and, get with the whole... And, like, that, that, that hates every for her to act yeah. like, yeah. like, like, what, her, like, what must her... Yeah. Is, is she married? What, my, what must yeah. her husband or boyfriend be like? Uh, I think she makes a white dude. I'm not sure. All I'm saying is I don't care what color he is. Like, there's no way he's living up to her standards. Oh no. Or vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think so either. Yeah. He I definitely mean, not. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying she's a goddamn lie. She yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Owens, <laughs> take this shot. Your, uh, I really didn't mean what to make you, that. What did you just say about uh, the leftists? It seemed like she's like afraid. Of, <clears throat> like, all conservatives just like scared of the left because they were, she was talking about. Oh, they just want to change everything. Like, yeah. What's wrong with change? Some change. That's, you don't change it, it's not gonna be good. Sometimes you don't change it, it's gonna I be feel good. Like they have but you gotta like work little, with it. I feel like they have like a little sheet that has like still. bullet points on mm-hmm. it. So when they ranting, they just they, toss they, one in there. Yeah. Like, like salt and pepper. Like, but the way she the way she phrases it though, the way she phrases it though, is like things like uh, they want you to believe that a woman can get out there and work and doesn't need a man but to be successful. Shaving her hair and shaving her hair and wearing pink and stuff. Bullet that, point. That to me, like, that, you're paying a negative context for for some real shit. Like, there's nothing wrong with a woman's independence. There's nothing wrong. I with and if D- a woman D- want to D- shave D- her D- fucking D- hands, D- right there, nigga, yeah. that shouldn't be like, oh, they're trying to fucking change the, the a political the, stance. Like, it shouldn't be a political stance. What the fuck? I wanted to show like, They're trying to create a situation for a, a, for a fucking context that doesn't necessarily exist. It, Exclusively, like mm-hmm. you can find individuals that can fit this narrative, but you're trying to paint it as this movement of everything that, and I, I can't, I just can't support that shit. And it's dangerous because there's a lot of, not us, a lot of white people listen to Candace Owens and say, "Look, that's their, this black that's woman their is saying say, that's this. the problem. She's not so talking to, she's not talking to the, the eighty whites. million that voted for Biden. She's talking to the seventy-five million that voted for Trump. Which is a big problem. You know, seventy-five million people oh, vote." Yeah. Apologies. Well, that's the numbers they came up with. I can't, I can't, I can't, 70 million voted for Trump. 75 million voted for Trump. How? Trump. And how many voted for Biden? It's been like 79. 79 million? It's, it's close, man. I'm being but, really but big. But I'm surprised. Right I'm, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm trying to like, vote by like five, eight, or it's eight. Right? What? Eight, eight votes. votes. There's more, more million than Hillary. Nobody knows. There's more million than Hillary's. Money. Here we go. We're back. At, we're back on politics. Let's make this real quick. It was really bad. Was it? Oh, Owens right. Owens Owens. 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 That was the most Candace Owens I've ever watched. Uh, and I only watched it because you sent it and said potential topic. Yeah. But that's the thing. If you no. listen to her video with no context and just listen to her, you would think that that's what the the big problem out there it's is. Dress all these niggas and dresses. 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 Yeah, and that's not true. Like you're painting a picture that doesn't exist. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. doesn't. It doesn't. Especially not in the side. Hollywood. Well, when they say Hollywood, everybody <laughs> thinks California. So, I mean, okay. it is. I mean Hollywood isn't California. It is California. <laughs> yeah. Still, always yeah. talking about but not, not coming to my no rescue and shit like that. Like you ain't be worried right. about your husband coming to your rescue. Come on. Not some dude in some dress. Like you ain't worried about you to begin with. That so you, right. attacking you, you probably get the <laughs> <laughs> You probably get the nigga in a dress. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause you're off screen wearing a dress. It's your house in life. Hey, hey, right. She went know. as far as to say, <laughs> her personal opinion, she would never leave her or allow her children to be around a dude in a dress. Like, period. Just, that's fucked up because you're giving these children like a fucked up mind state mindset, already. Come, yeah, right? you at a young age. I, I know people, and, and black me, people that believe that will believe the same. But statement. that's, but to me, that's how racism gets carried out through generations. Yeah, shit like the that. same way you say these white folks ain't never on no slaves. Yeah, but they hate black people just the same. Because mm-hmm. it's taught to them mm-hmm. as a kid. Yeah. Stories passed down mm-hmm. at the kitchen passed table. Down, Christmas time. Mm-hmm. And that shit's dangerous. Yeah. Because I guess, damn, bro, we to the to the age now, niggas aren't reluctant to throw hands. They not. Mm-hmm. No, oh, they're yeah. less they, reluctant. They not reluctant, reluctant to go to the trunk. <laughs> what a bone cutter saying. They ain't even keeping it. What a bone cutter saying. They got the shit on them now, man. What a bone cutter saying. That with, I'm going. No, 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 no. Uh, I know. Uh, 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 I never. I'll pop that trunk on these niggas. Yeah, that's what he said, did he? 
Oh God. So it's long story short, Candace Owens really ain't gotta worry about a bunch of niggas concerned about her opinion because a lot yeah. of us ain't thinking mm-hmm. about dating your ass in the first place. Nobody's fascinated like about her life. And, and that's the last thing on my mind. She's nigga. the black Tommy Lauren, bro. Wouldn't it just be yeah. an interesting thirty She's minutes to Lauren. watch to where how she got to where she is? Like a documentary. I, I, I talk about doing some stuff. Like, oh, oh yeah, she I, probably she did. I give a half hour. I watch. I'll be like, how did you come to this point? Okay. Okay. Impressions with PS Five are okay. So I mean, did, when did you, I, this I is came. part two? I, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll ask about your Xbox after I talk about my PS Five. Okay, so you open it up, and uh, the first thing that that happens when you turn it on is that, like there's a special graphic, and uh, of course that it's it's cool. Like it's cool. Like if you're not a game nerd, maybe you won't care that much about it. But <clears> once <throat> you put something in that's meant for PS Five, that's that's a game that's designed for PS Five. I played Miles Morales. Uh, which kind of looks like you. Oh, some, oh hold on, some, man. Right, some contact with yeah. like Miles Morales. Okay. I'm not joking. <laughs> not joking. joking. I'm not joking. He threw it in there. No. You a lie. <laughs> he threw it in there. No. Okay. No. Look it up. Spider-Man Miles Morales looks a little bit like Maury with light eyes. Mm. But, uh, so. Thank you, America. All black people. Oh, you dark. All black people look like. Darkness is dark. No. <laughs> No, but uh, the game is good. Like, okay, so I bought it and uh, I played P- uh, Spider-Man um, Remastered on PS4. That was the original Spider-Man. I played it. Excellent game. Great graphics. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. I'm not that impressed with these graphics. And, but I bought that in the deluxe package. Nah. Look at Chris. Nah. Look at him. Thinking about he got straight here. I got curly here. Oh. This guy? Nah, they don't see it. They don't see it. America, let me know. I can say it. No, man, stop it. Shaved, yes, it's like if I shave? If I shave? Nah, bro. Yeah. Hold on, man. Yeah, you know what? Maybe a little bit. You guys aren't giving him the right photo. Maybe a little yeah. bit. Listen, I, really, I wish I could pull it up. Nigga, there is a photo of this profile, dude. I can see his. Different can chin. See the, the, the cheekbone. Different the cheekbone. picture that you get of him. When you pull up the game, this That's dude true. is on the bus looking at his cell phone. Looks dead on Maury. Like on the game before you press start. But you know where it says press start button and start your game? That's what he looks like. He looks like Mori on the goddamn bus. <laughs> That's what you look like. If you had a fur coat on. Oh, man. No. I might need a. It's if you dressed up as. Mor- a Mori we'll really see it in. I'll send it to you. I, I yeah, can't believe I haven't done it before. Yeah, send it to me. Okay, I, 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 I do. I'm yeah. interested. Yeah, yeah, I this, do want to see it. This nigga Mori is Spider Man. Fuck that. Yeah, do that. Yeah, definitely do that. That's good. But no, my whole point is uh, I switched from the remastered to that one, and I realized the, gra- the graphics. Because. Like sometimes when graphics gets be- better, you look at them, you like, this is weird as fuck. Like, has it ever happened to you? Like, when graphics get better, better? generation, graphics and it looks so out. good that you're just like, well, this doesn't look like what I'm used. It's to like the graphics get better, and the gameplay gets worse. You think that, but you keep playing with it for. Then yeah, then you get used to it. Yeah, yeah you adjust to well, it. Well, yeah, you get used to <clears> it, but like then you have to think like, did I get used to it, or was it the same as always? Nah. And like, what was I adjusting to? I don't know. I was calling because two K does that. They all, and, and Call of Duty too. Like the more you play, the more realistic the character. Yeah, I think that's yeah, true. I think it's the graphics. Call of Duty probably got the best like, graphics like, out of anything. The controls don't Something really change like though in games yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the controls don't really get change though in games like that. It's the graphics yeah. that change. Yeah. So it's always mm-hmm. you that's readjusting yeah. to how realistic yeah, looks. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, for yeah. me, for that's me personally. But so all I'm saying is, don't get an Xbox. <laughs> don't get an Xbox. Now, do you got the? You, do you have the your there's, digital? There's two. Of, like, I don't, are you going? You joining the squad, right? Yeah, I plan on getting it. Uh, I have this. It's right there. Is that, is that the, the more than Xbox, digital? The new Xbox. Is it what? Is it more it's money like than digital? It's like a hundred dollars. Now, what's the difference between but the digital like and the disc? Eight K Blu-ray compatible, uh, and you just have the option of. I mean, if you if it ever comes down to hardware, you you'll always have the game. Yeah. Nigga, look at the specs <coughs> side by side. The Xbox and the, the new Xbox and the PS5 are almost identical. Almost features. identical. I'm telling you, man. I, and uh, Xbox has disappointed me so much because their whole thing has been the entertainment center, and they uh, they've taken away from that. Yeah, I, 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 I give you that. What happened? Have, what yeah. happened to yeah. Xbox Snap? I give you that. Yeah, they did. They did. They, 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 yeah. They yeah, took that. they touched it out too. And then they took away mm-hmm. what else? What else did they take away? Well, something else. Uh, it, I really hated it. Uh, oh, oh, my, my connect, my hand controls on my connect. They took it away. 
was one of my. Nigga, I hated that they changed the whole connect for that for the new Xbox One. They changed it, but if I had a connect, I like, could I could put up my hand and use my hand as a mouse. Mm-hmm. I, I, I remember that the was day that album. the day that I went to like I was like Xbox Snap and like my Xbox didn't snap and I was like <laughs> yeah what's yeah. wrong with my Xbox mm-hmm. they broke I refuse mm-hmm. it was a yeah I, I have a problem with not necessarily Xbox itself but Microsoft more so because mm-hmm. some of the technical issues that I be having with my Xbox it seems to be done by a computer type company shouldn't be certain issues like I shouldn't have hardware issues like Wi-Fi connectors and shit or my Wi-Fi adapter and shit. That should be immaculate on you compared to Sony, who is an entertainment company. Yeah. You're a computer company. So I expect you to be superior in certain internal like, yeah. things like yeah. that. And that's what my a little bit better. I don't know, because I, I lived in a house where everybody else, there was three PlayStation, four PS4s in the house. I had the only Xbox One. Mine was the only one that had connection issues or issues with my Wi-Fi adapter. Mm-hmm. There's never had issues hmm. with their with their Wi-Fi or none of that shit. Well, online, when you're bro. doing when you're doing your uh, like when I'm playing games online and shit, like GTA and shit or whatever, it's network timeout. What the fuck? Like, how are we still dealing with this type of shit? This is the <coughs> type of shit that when you fix a bug, should be fixed in the process. <laughs> And as a computer company, I feel like they dropped the ball a little bit on that a lot. And I feel like the whole networking, the the networking aspect of it, like um, Xbox Live and shit, all that stuff, they used to be a lot more popping than it, than it is. Yeah. I feel like the quality of that shit went down. Yeah, it did. I yeah. feel like I've just lost the capacity to understand everything, the capacity to understand yeah, everything you were just saying. That's what you were trying to The capacity. Yes, the capacity. Sounds like all of that. Send it song, Mark. But I I believe we did have to come down to some hard opinions here on the PS5 and the Xbox. Oh, well, Well, before we do loyalty, we can't. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. One of us got to get the new Xbox first. Yeah. One of us got to get the new Xbox first to have a comparison. When does that shit come out? Next month? Comparison. This month? When does it come out? When does it come out? It came out the same time as the PS5. It's out right now, man. The new Xbox? I haven't been looking for it. Yeah, it ain't out yet. It's out. The new Xbox is out. Money. Money. <laughs> Who I'm calling? The new Xbox is out. The new Xbox is out. The right Xbox now? Series. He might know more than me. He probably do. I don't the know. Xbox. I don't know about this one. He didn't call you a lot either, so I don't know who he is. Yes. Call him. They say it's not. That's what y'all say? It's out. <laughs> it's out. What do we, what do we say, Sherman? You can call him a lot. <laughs> I'm waiting. The new <laughs> Xbox. The new <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> it's not out, bro. Oh, yeah. It's out. It's how, out. How, com- how common? How common? How common are you that it's out? It's really intense right now. How common are you? Are you that it's out? How confident? You could bet any amount of money right now, oh. and I will accept it. Really? Any amount of money? Yes. Any now amount. Down, what you mad at, Mort? Any amount. Of, see, ah, see, I don't hey, know. Hey, hey, no looking. Don't look. <laughs> no sneak peeks. Mort, he already knows. He looked. Uh, look at him. He's <laughs> Keep your damn mouth shut. Uh, see, him keeping his mouth shut. He gave me all the answers I need to know. It is out. <laughs> it might be out, bro. Keep your damn mouth shut. <laughs> it's In selected out. areas. It is. In selected areas? Okay. Same thing with the PS5. They're both out. Oh, so PS5 is not out everywhere in U.S. Both of them are out the same way that they were no, last time. No, the PS is more More, available. more, yeah, to get, yes. I think they were better prepared. They came yeah, out the same well, time. I think Xbox is just trying to keep up with their Less release. popular. But they always. Less popular. Let's be real. Uh, Xbox always releases more slowly than PlayStation. They do. They did on uh, the one, too, I mm-hmm. believe. I believe that they, they came out later. But uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they. All I'm saying is, mm-hmm. one of us has to get, you gotta it get first, an Xbox, and then we can play it, compare the specs, and then make a decision at the table. We just can't go off. You have I mean, an awesome. I can turn it on, number. and you guys can tell me no. if it sucks or not. You're right. not gonna buy. You're not gonna bias me right now. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna bias you. I mean, you can get a play, uh, like Xbox you're trying at any time. You're trying to persuade. Uh, how much is the Xbox? Who else do you know that has the same, the same price, same amount uh, money? Uh, it's the same uh, price. I'm not paying nine hundred dollars. I'm paying no nine hundred either. Oh my I, God! I, I'm, you not guys that, are I'm, not that, I'm not in that much of a rush. I'm yeah, not I'm cool. First no, of all, I don't need no Xbox. I am not, in that much of a rush. I know, Brian. I'm not saying anything against you. Second of all, 
I've been playing my PS5 and I love it. Yeah, how many games you got on it? How many games you got on it? I don't know. You got one, two, three, seven. Four, seven games? I don't know. I don't, I got PlayStation Plus, like Xbox Game Pass mm. or whatever. So yeah, some good games. Um, I don't even see the price. Let's I, see. What's the price? Wanted to get Crash Bandicoot, but I didn't know if I was gonna try to beat it or not. I uh, fucking love Crash, bro. It is. It's fun. I, <laughs> I don't see a price. Wait, I'm trying to find the price. Chris is over. <laughs> Chris is over. I've been waiting for the outro. <laughs> We're talking about video games, man. I'm going to bring up my PS5. It's been another episode of You A Lie. You A Lie. Yeah. We got PlayStation Talk, Xbox Talk. We got, uh, what's her name? Candace. What's her name? Candace Owens. And Candace Owens Talk, man. We got NBA Draft Talk with the Mellow Ball going up three to the Hornets. Uh, shit, man. What else we talking about? Fresh Prince of Reunion, man. That was that was touching, bro. That was that was that was actually touching. It was. Yeah, like yeah, that was actually no touching. Shame. Real men cry yeah. in 2020. It, it real men do cry, man. But black men don't cheat, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> black men don't cheat, but real men do cry. Though. Real men do cry, but black, <laughs> black men do not cheat. As you watch the episode and you try to put some dreads together, remember that it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yes, yes. And we want to wish everybody happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Ho- happy holiday for Whether sure. Whether you're celebrating it safely, social distance, and by the guidelines given by our great Wear your mask. Uh, critical governor. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Or yeah. you're saying fuck all those rules and you're doing what you do. I just hope everybody enjoy it. I hope everybody being safe out there. Protect yeah. yourself. We get it. Happy yeah. we get it. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I want to give a shout out to the countries that's been following us. Whoever been following us, uh, what? Shit, we got what? Europe. Puerto Rican, Brazil, France. We appreciate the follows, man. The likes, subscribes, man. We appreciate that for sure. Keep it up, man. Comments, we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. Hit us on on the comment uh, area. We will we'll touch up on it. Uh, shit, man. What else? We we're going bus sprout. Instagram. What's your Instagram? Okay, yeah, he got his own Instagram, man. It's your boy SRDs on mine. Yeah, man, he kept my only fans, man, at Josh. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> he gets my Snapchat, Josh underscore with 15. I mean, if you're on there, YouTube, Instagram, uh, shit. Bus route, he catches on all that. 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 Dana, oh, okay, then he gonna bring his, uh, yeah. Yeah, Dana. Yeah. Hey, I'm just saying, I mean, if you wanna follow me, it's okay. <laughs> and follow us on Instagram and yes. on Facebook. Both are you alive. We work so hard. Some love. We're trying to get this shit together. Y'all. Mm-hmm. So, it's getting better, better, man. You see the mics. You see the mics. It's getting better. We got the we got the camcord, man. It's getting we getting the product. It's getting better. Y'all. We got the nails on last episode. Mm-hmm. Know, yeah. But, you know, Watch the last one. But we never saw you a lot. I'm Maury. It's your favorite pothead, so these. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> No episode, you were like. <laughs> he said, What's my goddamn name? <laughs> What's my goddamn name? <laughs>